Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 5, Chapter 3, Lesson 1, Relate Division to Multiplication. Page number is 157. Guys, in this lesson, actually, we will create a fact family. A fact family is a group of related facts that use the same numbers. You can use facts families to relate multiplication and division look at this example guys let's say if I write 2 times 3 is equal to 6 so I can also write it in opposite way 3 times 2 is equal to 6 now if I want to write this sentence in division instead of multiplication I want to write it in division I will say I will start from this side now from this side okay 6 divide 3 is equal to 2 here we go 6 divide 3 is equal to 2 similarly if I want to write this one as division so I will write 6 divide 2 is equal to 3 6 divide 2 is equal to 3. So these four lines basically we call it fact family. They will give you three numbers and you have to create a fact family for this. Let us solve some examples so you will understand more better. See this guys, first example. Uh, Shirley is helping to put away 18 basketballs after practice she places them on a rack that has three shelves so basically she want to place 18 basketballs on three shelves so how many sh how many basketballs on each shelf 18 divide 3 that is 6 very simple three shelves on each ball uh, or on each shelf six basketballs so 3 times 6 18 or 18 divide 3 6 now you have which three numbers 3, 6, and 18. So you can create a fact family. 3 times 6, 18. Or 6 times 3, 18. If you write this one in opposite way, 18 divided 6 is equal to 3. Here it is. 18 divided 6 equals to 3. And this one, 18 divided 3 equals to 6. 18 divided 3 equals to 6. Okay, let us move to the next page here. Uh, sometimes we find the value of an unknown digit like this B here like they give us an example Ellie is creating gift bags for her party guest she wants to divide 56 pencils equally among the seven gift box so 56 divide 7 instead of answer we say 56 divide 7 that is equal to P and all of you know that 56 divide 7 is equal to 8 so we will say p is equal to 8. So that is known as unknown digit or variable. Variable means the alphabet we use here, p. Or you can use any other alphabet, okay? Now, they give us three numbers, 8, 9, 72. So the first one is very simple, 8 times 9 equals 72. Then the opposite one, 9 times 8, 72. Now we will write both of them in division here. 72 divide 9 equals 8. 72 divide uh, here they write it for 72 divide 9 equals 8. Then this one 72 divide 8 equals 9. 72 divide 8 equals 9. Let us move down. Here it is. Uh, you have to find the unknown. And they give you a division problem, but you have to think it in multiplication. 48 divide what will give you 6 so you will think that 6 times what will give you 48 so 6 times 8 is equal to 48 similarly here 40 divided 5 equals what so you will not solve it in division you will think 5 times what will give you 40 5 times 8 equals 40 so that is your answer clear guys like here if they, you have the answer, you will think 6 times what is equal to 48. Or if you have a middle number, 5 times what is equal to 40. 
let us move to the next page here it is okay you have to create a fact family for this you have how many rows and how many columns one two three columns one two three four five five rows so five times three equals 15 or you can say three times five equals 15 or if you solve it in opposite way here 15 divide 3 equals 5 15 divide 3 equals 5 15 divide 5 equals 3 15 divide 5 equals 3 similarly here uh, 8 blocks and 2 rows so 2 times 8 16 then we create the fact family for this similarly here 4 times 9 36 and create a fact family 5 times 7 35 3 times 8 24 okay here you have to find out the missing number and create the fact family with the missing number 64 divide 8 you will think in multiplication 8 times what is equal to 64 8 times 8 is equal to 64 similarly guys you will solve all these questions and then match your answers from this video here you have to find the unknown 2 times what is equal to 12 6 8 times what is equal to 24 3 and 9 times what is equal to 72 8 next page okay orange blossoms have five petals and are some of the most fragrant flowers how many petals in one row there is five petals so how many petals would there be in a group of seven flowers so five times seven equals 35 how many petals P like unknown we will write our answer equals to P and then P is equal to answer would there be in a group of 11 flowers so 5 times 11 5 times 11 55 but you will write it in this way 5 times 11 is equal to P and P is equal to 55 okay a group of F flowers has 40 petals in all so they give you the number of petals now and they're asking how many flowers so you have to divide 40 with 5 40 divide 5 8 but you will write it in this way equals f and f is equal to 8 8 blocks okay can the number 12 be part of more than one fact family yes it 4 times 3 is 12 6 times 2 is also 12 so we can make two fact families four lines for this one four lines for this one right guys also write this one okay uh, which one is different here all these three have same numbers but this one different numbers so this is not the part of the same fact family how do multiplication facts help me divide give an example I can use a related multiplication fact to help me divide and give me your example guys in the comment box thank you so much have a nice day